Hello, I'm Dr. Krishan Chhabra and welcome to An Okay Rang. Today's topic is to do or to be. I recently read a quote by Ninia Hoffman. It said, instead of focusing so much on a to-do list, I am starting a to-be list. Things I want to be, happy, calm, loving, healthy, and awesome. Surely a very no nice quote. However, the words instead of seem to suggest either or. But I think we need both. And in the order of to be followed by to do. To be represents a goal of what we want to be or what we want to achieve. And to accomplish that goal, we need to do. A list of steps or actions that need to be performed. Now, to be as a goal can be objective or subjective. An objective goal is quantifiable and measurable, whereas a subjective to be is qualitative and difficult to measure. Whether a to be is subjective or objective, it must be meaningful and take life in a positive direction. On the flip side, a to do without a meaningful to be does not make much sense. If you were to ask someone who is just sitting flipping the channels and watching the TV all the time, Sir, what's your goal? What are you trying to be? The answer, I think, may be a couch potato. Oh, well, let us look at an example of an objective to be. To be slim and healthy. It can be measured by loss of pounds and gain in strength and energy. And it's to-do list would include specific actions such as regular exercise, healthy diet, and good sleep. And now let us look at some examples of subjective to be. To be happy is a very good but subjective and intangible goal. To start off, how do we define happiness? Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Mahatma Gandhi. Happiness is letting go of what you think your life is supposed to look like and celebrating it, everything that it is. Mindy Hale. Life is some days a bed of thorns, a puddle of mud, a pothole on a highway, and it might deny you happiness. But life is going to respond to your attitude, and happiness is always a choice, the right message. The experience of fulfillment, happiness, and satisfaction is dependent on the state of our own mind and not on external objects or circumstances. Swami Mukandananda. In my opinion, a to-do list to be happy can include things such as think positive, count your blessings, have a positive attitude, notice small pleasures in life and appreciate them, focus on actions instead of results, do not try to be a perfectionist, Try to minimize stress, live in the moment, and the list goes on and on. Another example of a subjective to be is to be loving. To love others, we must love ourselves and be ourselves first. We are our own worst critics. Often we criticize ourselves and use negative self-talk, thus filling our subconscious mind with negative thoughts. Many people try to imitate others and lose their own identity. Let me share some quotes. Be yourself. Everything else is already, everyone else is already taken. Oscar Wilde. You were born as original. Don't die a copy. John Maser. Always be a first-rate version of yourself and not a second-rate version of someone else. Judy Garland. Swami Vivekanand said, if you have faith in millions of your mythological gods and still have no faith in yourself, there is no salvation for you. Have faith in yourself and stand up on that face and be strong. A to-do list to be loving and to love oneself includes things such as develop faith in yourself, have positive thoughts, act positive, and project a positive self-image. Remember. The power of visualization is awesome, and self-talk is a very powerful tool. In the words of Swami Vivekananda, talk to yourself, 
at least once a day. Otherwise, you will miss the meeting with an excellent person in the world, beautifully said. And in the words of Bernard Marouch, be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. Wishing you a very happy Vesakhi, the festival of harvest. Please join me again next month for another segment of Anokhe Rang. Namaskar.